Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. This is going to be a timeless love reading, a timeless divine masculine, divine feminine reading for you. So I'm getting a message. Um, so I'm picking up on a divine feminine collective who is, you're just done. You're just done with this journey. You're done with this connection. You're done with your divine masculine and you're cutting off all communication. You're cutting off all ties, all cords. You don't want to see your masculine. You don't want to hear them. You don't want to look at them. You don't want to connect with them. You don't want to connect with them on a telepathic level. You don't want to see them in your dreams. You don't want to see them out in the real world. Like you're really truly needing a break, like a complete cutoff. Now, you're probably watching this video because there's a part of you that wants confirmation or you're deep down, you're a bit curious to know how this cutoff has affected your masculine, okay? So how do they feel about the cutoff? Well, they they feel it. They feel it, okay? And it's like a knife through the heart. They feel winded. They feel gutted. Um, what I'm hearing is that you have their full attention now, okay? They're sitting up. They're at attention and they're like, uh oh, uh oh, something's wrong. Something's really shifted here with my divine feminine. Uh oh, I messed up. This does not feel like some of the other cutoffs in the past, okay? Because I feel like this has maybe been something you've done before, divine feminine, where you've just gotten like totally fed up and you're like, screw this, like I'm cutting you off. So this time it's different though. This time it's like for real, for real, for real. So they feel lost without you, your energy, um, without your energy around them, they really do feel like they're in the middle of a desert alone without any source of water or sustenance or anything. They feel lost. They feel confused and you have their full attention right now. They are worried about this cutoff, you guys. It does feel serious to them. It feels different from those other cutoffs from the past and... Now that you shut them out and reclaimed your power, they're very drawn to you. It, it's kind of a weird energy that I'm picking up on. It's almost like, dang, you're sexy when you're mad, right? Or man, I'm really, really attracted to you now that you're, <laughs> now that you're leaving. Okay, so I don't know if that's very healthy, but that's, that's the message coming through. Um, they're very drawn to you. They're very turned on by your anger, by your frustration. They're very turned on by your decisiveness to cut them off, to not take any BS. And they are upset that you're moving on. They're, they're, they're turned on, but they're also freaking out about this. They're turned on, but they're fearful that you really truly are gone for good this time. And I feel that the main block here is the fact that there could be a long-term commitment on your masculine side that they're just not breaking free from or there's no sign of change. They're, maybe they, maybe you know, well, of course you know. You know that your masculine loves you, but they haven't said anything to you about it. Maybe you've tried to, um, I don't know, create some sort of a scenario where you guys could talk about your feelings or talk about things, but your masculine kept avoiding you or pushing you away or denying their truth and you just got fed up because it was like hitting a wall hitting a brick wall every single time maybe your masculine's just not ready for commitment they don't know what they want they still need to make some sort of a choice here and they're not making it whatever this the situation is for you it's going to be slightly different right for each and every one of you but there is you know that that block here and it's been cyclical it's like nothing's ever changing so I'm also getting that Divine Feminine, you dream about your masculine and they show up in your dreams like so sweet, so kind, so caring, so compassionate, so loving, so tender, open and vulnerable. And then you see them out and about in the real world, the 3D world, and nothing's changed. And you're like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. I just had a, an amazing dream of us last night and you were opening up to me and there was so much love and, and all of this. And then you see them and they're cold to you. Or they ignore you, you know, and you're like, 
this is just too much. This is way too much. My dreams are saying one thing. My intuition is telling me one thing. And then the 3D world says another. And I'm really tired of this conflict. I'm tired of having to trust my intuition and go on that. Like, I want to see it. I want to see <laughs> actual change in the 3D world. Okay, you're fed up with this having to trust the energy, okay? So you're getting mixed messages and you're just wanting to block this out because you need a break. You need a mental break. You need an emotional break. You need a spiritual break. You need a physical break. You just want to go out. You just want to go out. You want to have a good time without thinking of your divine masculine or feeling their energy around you all the time. So you're blocking it out. You're cutting those cords and man, they are feeling it, okay? They're getting a major wake-up call. They're being pushed to take action. They're being pushed to reevaluate re their priorities, what they want, what's going to make them happy, and to take action towards you, okay? They're being pushed. So they're feeling this passion and this attraction, but they're also feeling fear. That's just what I'm getting, all right? So let's, let's pull on it. Let's just see how they feel about the cutoff, what they're being pushed to do, what's next for your connection. I don't know if you care or not, Divine Feminine, but I'm going to pull that anyways, just in case you're curious. <laughs> uh, there's that Four of Pentacles energy, the Seven of Wands energy, right? Where it's like your masculine's closed off, guarded, shut down, resisting this connection, pretending that it doesn't exist, looking the other way. Okay. How are they feeling about the cutoff? How is this masculine feeling about the cutoff? The Ace of Wands. This is what I mean. This is so interesting. This energy that I'm picking up on you guys is now that you've cut them off, like they're on fire for you. They desire you. You've got their attention. They're attracted to you. They're turned on by this. This makes them feel excited. <laughs> So it's kind of bizarre. I'm not sure if it's healthy. I'm really, I'm not sure. You decide, you decide. But I'm just, I'm wondering if, um, yeah, I mean, I can kind of see how you standing in your power would be a turn on. But I can also see how this could, this could be a part of a very toxic cycle in a sense where if they're turned on when you leave, you know, I don't know, if you come back and you guys make up and you, I don't know, you you get things going on the right foot in the right direction, um, is the passion going to fizzle out? You know, are they going to desire for you to get angry with them and run away again? Like, is it going to be this weird cycle of like mind games and push and pull and runner chaser? Is that the excitement or what? Or what? I mean, that might be something that you think about when you know, or that might be a question that you pose to yourself, Divine Feminine, because of this. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sort of throwing that out there. But this is what I'm talking about. They're feeling passionate about you now that you've um, cut them off. Now that, now that you are leaving, they want you. It's like that. Okay, what are they being, what are they being pushed to do, Spirit? What is this masculine collective being pushed to do? The Four of Cups to feel the rejection or to face their fears of rejection. Or now that you're leaving, it's like their life sucks. Okay? Just to put it plainly, to put it simply, now that you're gone, it's or now that you're leaving and they can't feel your energy, their life lacks. It lacks sparkle. It lacks excitement. It lacks passion. It lacks all of these things that they got used to when you were around. And now that you're gone and you've removed your energy, they're missing you. They're missing you. And they're missing this passion, the attraction, the desire. Um, they're missing feeling alive. You know, life isn't the same without you. So... I feel that they took you for granted. They took you for granted. And this is so necessary. The fact that you've removed yourself and cut, your, cut yourself off from your masculine divine feminine is the right thing to do because they need to experience this energy in order to realize how much you mean to them. Okay? It's almost like 
You don't know what you've got until it's gone. It's a rude wake up call. They need to go through this. It's showing them just how much you bring to their life. Okay, what's next for your connection here? What kind of energy can you expect? The star. Well, that's a positive energy to get. It's a major arcana, so it's not a little thing. It's a big thing. And the star speaks about healing, alignment, vulnerability. So there is a chance if you decide to do so, Divine Feminine, to heal this connection. But your masculine's going to have to be vulnerable with you. Like I said before, you know, you're really sick and tired of the mask. You want them to show up in the real world the way that they show up for you energetically, the way they show up for you in, in your dreams. That's the divine masculine you want. Not the one who's wearing a mask pretending like there's nothing between the two of you. When it's obvious. When it's obvious you're both head over heels in love with one another. And there's a lot of attraction and passion and chemistry like never before. Like you've never experienced ever before with anybody else. Right? Right? So that's, um, that's a potential here, Divine Feminine. But right now, you really do need that break. You need that break. You need that reprieve. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So you want a Divine Masculine who's ready to put in the effort, to make the effort, to show you how they really feel, to show up and show out and there's a high probability here that this is what they will be doing but they needed to feel the cutoff they needed to feel what it would be like to not have you in their life we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so your masculine could be coming around with a new energy And I feel that um, now that you've cut them off, they've been thinking about you, embracing new love with someone else, and it makes them feel sick, is what I'm hearing. It makes them feel absolutely sick. I can see a masculine holding their heart, and they're breathing like very like heavily, almost like they're having a panic attack. And their palms are sweaty, they're shaking, like they feel ill. The thought of that actually makes them feel physically unwell okay or it's about to it's about to if they haven't experienced that energy yet they will be divine feminine and it's going to kick their butt into gear is what i'm hearing this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, it's like your divine masculine is getting this wake up call that you're the one. You're the one. Okay. And if they don't put in the effort, if they don't. have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation that they know you need to have you could slip off into the arms of another and they just couldn't handle that all right i'm gonna get some direct messages for you these messages may or may not resonate with you guys okay but let's see You have so much power over me. I'm not used to this. Yeah, so they could feel a little lost, a little out of their league. Um, they've never met anyone like you, so they don't know how to handle this, okay? And a lot of their usual ways of handling things, it's not going to work with you, okay? So every time that you guys have some sort of a falling out or every time there's conflict or the energy goes off and things are misaligned between the two of you, your masculine mishandles the situation because they're, they're used to responding in a specific way that works with karmics, but not with true love. Do you know what I mean? So they're not used to responding in a specific way for an empress. And this is something that they have to learn. 
it, it really truly is a learning experience for your masculine. It's a first. And they keep messing up. They keep making mistakes. But it's because they've never, they've never known anybody like you before. And they are learning as they go. Okay? They are learning each time. Yes, this is your soulmate or twin flame. Woohoohoo! There you go. So that's confirmation for, for those of you who are watching. Maybe you came to this reading because you were starting to doubt the connection. Maybe you're starting to think like, this isn't my twin flame or this isn't my soulmate. This is probably just a karmic, right? But no, spirit's coming through in this reading saying, whoever you came to this reading for, they are your soulmate or your twin flame, whatever label you resonate with, okay? That is confirmation for you. Okay, one more. Sexually frustrated. I'm frustrated. I can't be with you intimately. It's all I think about. Okay, and we have the Ace of Wands out here. So something needs to shift here. Something needs to change. There needs to be some sort of, I don't know, um, decision made on your masculine's end, I feel, in order to clear the way for you guys to have this intimate union, right? Physical union. And until that decision has been made and until you see the changes they're not able to be with you sexually okay they're not they're not, not able to have that connection with you it's all they want though and now that you've pulled away from them it's like increasing their desire for you is even increasing more and more and more so I feel like this in itself is going to be pushing your masculine and I feel that sometimes like that is a very masculine thing to be driven in that way you know um that's how masculines you know feel alive and you know they want to create or procreate you know what i mean by having that drive and that desire and that passion okay towards you is actually a good thing because it's going to light a fire under their butt so they actually make changes in order to set the stage to allow something like this to happen. Okay, so it's intensifying is what I'm hearing. It's intensifying and they're being pushed. They're being pushed to deal with things on their end so they can set a beautiful stage for the two of you to come together, have an honest upfront conversation about your feelings and and an intimate encounter, a passionate, intimate encounter, including that emotional intimacy, because I don't feel you guys have had that chance yet. So Divine Feminine, I feel like you're, I don't, Spirit's saying you're doing the right thing because it's a necessary energetic space that your masculine needs to fall into before things can be healed. All right, so I hope you found this message helpful. I hoped it resonated with you. I hope you got something from this. I hope um, you got some sort of confirmation that you that you needed by clicking on this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I would appreciate that so very much, you guys. So I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. I'm sending you all the good vibes. And remember, stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned.